There's been a lot of talk lately about per and fluoral alkyl substances, PFAs, or forever chemicals. But what exactly are they and how do they affect you? Stay tuned to find out. Hi and welcome to Nature's Path to Wellness. My name is Wendy and today we're going to be talking about per and fluoral alkyl substances. PFAs or forever chemicals. These are man-made chemicals and they are used to make products resistant to water, staining, oil, and heat. They don't easily break down and that's how they've gotten the name forever chemicals. These chemicals are in products that end up in the landfills, they leach into the soils and the surrounding water, they accumulate in the environment, in plants and animals, and in our bodies and they can have some serious health effects. In 2016, the EPA said that these PFAs were not a threat at low levels, and low levels were considered 70 parts per trillion. There is, however, a new advisory by the FDA that says that these PFAs are safe at a level of zero. So the containers that food come in, clothing that sits on skin, contain these PFAs. And the effects on your health could be issues such as testicular and kidney cancer, increased cholesterol levels, liver and immune system issues, high blood pressure in middle-aged women, metabolic issues, hormonal disruptions, developmental issues in children, and of course, other types of cancer. As the research has been coming in on the health effects of these PFAs, there have been many companies that have pledged to stop using these PFAs in their packaging. These chemicals have been found in the foods that we have come to know as safe. There has been a lot of education that has gone on in recent years for the public. We've been told not to consume products that aren't organic. We have been told to watch out for GMOs. And so we're looking for the food labels to see if a product is non-GMO. And now we are being hit with these PFAs. And unfortunately, most of the packaging doesn't even tell you if there are PFAs in them. Most recently, a company that produces Kerrygold butter has come under a lot of fire and lawsuits against them. And if you're not familiar with them, they tout a butter that is known as being pure Irish butter. And I've had Kerrygold butter and it is absolutely delicious. But little did I know when I was buying it and consuming it that the wrapper was a health hazard. Recently, Kerrygold butter has been pulled from the shelves in New York and California where they have already moved to not allowing any food packages that contain PFAs. And although Kerrygold has come under a lot of fire and has these lawsuits against them, let's be completely fair. It isn't just Kerrygold butter that have the PFAs in their packaging and they're marketing a pure product. So I think this is why they have been targeted so much. But there's all kinds of PFAs found in food wrappers, single-use coffee cups, the clothing that we wear. And of course, there's other forever chemicals. I recently did a video on air fryers, and I talked a lot about the PFOAs and how DuPont produces uh, Teflon that is on the nonstick pans and on these air fryers. And of course, how DuPont came under a lot of fire um, not too long ago, and because they're their chemicals were from their factories were leaching into the water supply. And so they had multi-million dollar payouts for damages that, you know, people suffered due to health issues from the C8 that was leaked into the water specifically in Ohio, in Ohio. And then they've switched over to a new thing called PFTEs, which I still don't trust. I am constantly looking out for containers um, in the store that don't contain BPA. I try to only buy glass jars if I'm buying some sort of product from the store that's in a container. And this is definitely something that I will be watching out for now as well. So I'm sorry to be the bearer of some bad news today with these PFAs, but there is some good news. There is some way to get some of these forever chemicals out of your body. And one of the ways is definitely by sweating and exercising, and you can get some of the chemicals out of your body that way, as well as a supplement called chlorella, which can also be helpful. And I will include some other options down in the video description below. So be sure to look there. 
So I hope this video has been helpful for you today. And if it has, please consider giving it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you want to have more information on health and nutrition matters. And I do hope to see you again next time.